there's no urgency here. But going on something that Lance said earlier, if this is a community-wide problem and people generally in the neighborhoods scattered throughout the town are fed up and concerned, what towns used to do way back, and I remember they used to have uh, levies for crossing guards because they were concerned in the 50s and the 60s that, you know, as towns were growing after the war, uh, kids were crossing the street and, you know, getting sideswiped and so forth. And so there was usually some little levy for $20,000. And then as towns grew and the base grew, uh, the levy was 20, and people said, well, what happens to the rest of it? Well, that just goes into the corporate. What taxpayers are concerned about, and I'm speaking as a taxpayer, is, is uh, just giving money to government anymore and not knowing where it's going to go. Well, giving money to government generally, but giving money to government <laughs> not knowing where it's going to go. Uh, on your levy, uh, on your, excuse me, on your tax bill, what you get and what we'll get in first week in June or whatever it is, is going to be probably for the city of DeKalb, unless I'm wrong, two lines. One yeah. is the corporate and one is right. pensions. Right. Is there a third? I don't know. I don't. You might have. Some I just think pensions. Is all uh, pensions only. Pensions only. So, and, and I don't know if you have special service areas that that also goes on there. But the other thing you can do, if people are really f fed up and uh, barricade stuff, you do a property maintenance enforcement levy, and it's I don't know point zero 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 whatever it is, uh, uh, because what <coughs> we're talking about here really is money and bodies. It's a we can get at this. We're, we're, you know, we're in government, or many of us are around government, or government, you know, want to be. So we can figure out a rational system. But the, what ultimately it gets down to here is money and bodies, and so, and the two are very closely related. So if that's the case, you throw that up there too, because there's going to be a heck of a lot less aggravation if people are committed to it, and you can convince them that that's what you want to do, and that's and that money can't be used for this or that or the other thing, and there's some rigorous way to enforce that, um, you know, see what, see what people, see what the council thinks. Well, I mean, I, you, you've hit the nail on the head. We can come up with the best documents in the world, but if the council out there says, well, I'm not willing to raise taxes, then we've just spent a year and a half with nothing. And frankly, <laughs> I feel, I hate to point them out, but I feel for Lou Larson and whoever's working for him, who's going to go around and do what what uh, Brett was talking about earlier, and do inventories of knobs and screens and so forth to try to build a case that's going to stand up before a judge to get a judgment and so forth. It can be done, and, and you have experience with this in another town. But boy, it's, that takes, that's, that's big. That takes a lot of effort with a small department. So I wish... Yeah. I mean, the only, thing, the only thing I point out, Bill, is as far as your last comment about if it could be rigorously enforced, because mm -hmm. I've had this issue come up, if there is a separate levy, it is rigorously enforced, yes, because the be. auditing, the annual independent auditing requirements exactly. would make sure exactly. that every penny that was exactly. sold, that would be there, that guarantee. Exactly. Yeah. And the budget, uh, the, the, there's the program budget and budget line items that are only going to go for they that. They would, and they won't, they won't approve your audit if Absolutely. they see money going all over the Absolutely. place. So, but okay, I, I think we've reached a conclusion on this, and it's, it moves into the next step. And I, and I think the next step is to hold a joint uh, meeting with our city council, and we're looking at timeline mark probably first. Maybe early May. Uh, yeah, probably early May. And I, I think, Mark, we're going to we're moving into budget season, so we're already having every night meetings for. Okay. So we're part of your calendars and the council calendars here. Right. And again, what we would do is we get this out, this document out to we'll, we'll get it after out. you after you've gotten it. We'll get it and out. then we start discussing a little bit of this, and then we really get down to the issue of what do we want to do. And then the council has already started discussing. Uh, Mark has already put together some preliminary. Uh, uh, potential uh, staffing uh, projections uh, if we want to move forward with the, the kind of things we're, we're looking at. And so the council is aware of more bodies, and it's going to, you know, it's going to have to make a decision as to what, where, the, where, where we want to move forward with those bodies. Could I ask one quick thing? Sure. Um, <clears throat> what are these ordinance? Who? What city is these ordinances mirrored from? These are Mount Prosper. These are Mount Prosper. Yeah. But these, um, I mean, the. the 
the ordinance is limited to exterior and the common areas is tailored to, to, to decal. The, the broader ordinance in regards to inspections is, is basically uh, from Mount Prospect and tailored to decal. I mean, the idea was to throw out the broad options, not to try to tailor something into, you know, not knowing ultimately who's in, if enough people are interested in any option in order to try to do that. So the question was, is there an interest or a need for inspections? If we get to that point, then we're in, in either of the second two ordinances. You know, would we want it to be very broad or, or would we want it to be too limited as to the exterior and common areas? And then any of the provisions within there can be tailored to the community. But at least it gives you some foundation, some base. The whole theory is that it's a tool. <clears throat> Staff is not going to file a, a petition for revocation because of doorknob, a, a doorknob right. and, a, and a, it just isn't going to happen. They're not going to have the time. They're not. It, but, but as uh, uh, what we see is that staff will go in on, on an inspection and they'll have a form and they'll indicate are there any violations and then there's an expectation that those be corrected. Compliance is a goal, not not fines and certainly not revocation. In, in the, but uh, but you need a a, 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 a a structure for the process and that's what these ordinances create. In, in it's the a mid tool 80s, for staff. In the mid eighties, George. The issue uh, before the council, the, the, one of the premier issues over a period of about nine months, was not uh, the condition of the properties mm -hmm. or the high incidence of crime. Okay. I remember this vividly. I came on as the chief code enforcement officer right at this time. But the concern was occupancy. There's another, yet another uh, bump in uh, enrollment and so forth. Mm -hmm. and, existing housing stock hadn't yet adjusted and so there was a concern in a lot of neighborhoods particularly those around the university that there were too many people living in too few rooms mm -hmm. and so we had a structure we spent months go back in the records and see working out ways to inspect for occupancy we had a code that was written specifically for toothbrushes i remember this so that <laughs> You know, people can Count maybe the hide, <laughs> hide uh, the pillows and stuff like that. You go into the bathroom and, aha, <laughs> there's the toothbrushes. Uh, it, it died because it, it, we built a great structure. We figured out how to do that, and we couldn't figure out <coughs> how we were going to enforce it and how we were going to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, you can hit the nail on the head. Okay, so we move for toothbrushes. <laughs> can I move for a drink? Yeah, please no. do. I so move. It's been moved by Herb, second by Glenn. Any further discussion? Thank you very much. Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Oh, yeah. <laughs>